okay so we stopped on um, how to increase how could the business increase added value so we have two main ways in which a business can try to increase its added value first is to increase its selling price so if you plan to increase the price of your cupcake like uh, make it uh, 250 or three three dollars or three reals then you'll have more added value you'll just keep your cost the same or letter B you'll see there that you have to reduce you may reduce the cost of materials but keep the price the same if you plan to keep the price at two reals or two dollars and um, to increase the added value you may decrease or reduce the cost or the expenses so how will you do that if you used to buy uh, sugar and all the other ingredients like at, uh, at regular price you may go to this supermarket which is selling goods and products on 50% discount then you will be saving on your expenses so in that manner you reduce the cost or the expenses of your materials okay so now let's go to uh, try to go to Rakish Bakery our case study now uh, Rakish Bakery here as we read on Rakish owns a small bakery selling uh, bread cakes and biscuits his business is just making enough money to survive his wife Nita suggested that why don't we buy two small tables that could be uh, fitted into the bakery shop and serve tea or, tea or coffee and so uh, Rakesh uh, heeded to her advice and uh, tried to buy some second-hand cafe equipment and furniture and tried what Nita had suggested and she was right some of his customers not only bought teas and coffees but they paid higher prices for the cakes and biscuits they bought as they were served on a plate Rakish had increased the value added to the flour, sugar, and butter he used to make these cakes and business uh, biscuits. So let's go to activity 1.3. We have three questions here. First, if the best-selling cake in this bakery uses 30 cents worth of flour, sugar, and butter, and Rakish sells each one for one dollar, calculate the value added. So all we have to do is check on the selling price, which is one dollar minus 30 cents which is the worth of the ingredients in one cake so one minus 30 cents is 70 cents that is the added value uh, our answer for letter a for letter b the situation is changed uh, they have increased their selling price so let's see if customers are prepared to pay one dollar fifty cents when this cake is served on a plate at a table within the bakery what is the new value added per cake so it's 150 minus 30 which is 120 okay let us see does the opening of the small cafe mean that rakish must have increased his weekly profit explain your answer um listen i told you earlier that added value is just covering the ingredients and the cost in card in preparing the product the cupcake in this example so we need like time before we can save money to cover the expenses made on purchasing secondhand cafe equipment and furniture so it will take maybe three weeks or one month before we can before Rakish could uh, be able and Nita could be able to save money a small amount of money from their everyday uh, sales to cover the expenses on the uh, secondhand cafe equipment and furniture so it's no we went, we won't realize a profit yet in a week but perhaps in a month or so maybe two months it depends on the prices of the secondhand cafe equipment and the furniture okay is there any question i hope it's clear now let us try to go to our example we uh, we mentioned McDonald's earlier how many times so let's use McDonald's our international business in focus and check on the discussion points below uh, McDon this is about specialization let's read on the cooking of food in all McDonald's restaurants broken down into small repetitive tasks this include serving customers pouring drinks cooking french fries and cooking burgers these separate tasks allow workers to become very efficient and skilled in them all workers are given much training in the task that they will become skilled at 
The speed and efficiency of McDonald's workers mean that customers are served very quickly with freshly cooked food. Costs are kept very low and this helps to keep prices low as well. McDonald's and other fast food restaurants often make great efforts to reduce the high labor turnover in this industry. This means they are trying to reduce the high number of workers that leave the industry each year. Now, bullet first bullet, why do you think a large business like McDonald's uses specialization? We have the written answer there because it helps um, um, cater to consumers' needs more efficiently, as mentioned in the case study. Second bullet, think about as many advantages as you can to McDonald's uh, of using a specialization. Okay, so we have on uh, page uh, 6, we discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of specialization and division of labor. So we can just apply those concepts and principles to the case of McDonald's. Bullet number three, if you owned a past fast food restaurant, consider two ways in which you could um, two ways in which you could um, one minute increase the value added to the food bought in by the restaurant. Okay, so the two ways is discussed also in the concept on page 8 of our textbook. The first is to increase the selling price or or decrease the cost. If they, they buy a, uh, in bulk, you know, wholesale, they will be saving a lot on expenses. Okay, so I hope it's clear. Let's go to the exam style questions. Exam style questions are questions uh, given during the IGCSE and usually we have the same pattern uh, we'll be given the case study the case and for letter A we'll be having definition of terms the concept given or applied in the case letter B two factors of production or two advantages or two benefits of um, any concept mentioned in the in the case also and outline two possible opportunity costs. Again, we're asked to give two of like advantages, disadvantages, or benefits. In this case, we have two possible opportunity costs. Okay, so for letter D, we have to explain one advantage and one disadvantage of Gore's business. And this is the usual thing that's asked in the IG, asking about your opinion and your reasoning power. Same thing with letter E, your opinion. Do you think that Gore is business? So this is asking for your opinion. Okay, what do you think about it? Right, so now let's go into the, uh, the exam style questions given in the textbook. You were given this copy and you were given the guide questions and uh, we shall be trying to um, discuss them in our next slide once we run out of time in discussing this in this um, uh, video. Okay, so first, Gori plans to start up her own business using her savings. She wants to produce fashion clothes for women. She's a very good clothes designer, but she does not like stitching clothes together. Two friends have offered to help Gori. Ab is an experienced material or fabricator, and she can cut lengths of material material with fabric for clothes or fabric for clothes with very little wastage. Added is quick at sewing fabric together. So in here we have to define business, and which is given in our textbook. Uh, it's found on page like uh, I guess it's on page uh, six, and identify two factors of production that is used in. Uh, that Gori will need for her new businesses, like, for example, uh, the need sewing machine. It's a machinery that she will use in the production of her fashion clothes. And letter C, outline two possible opportunity labor. Don't forget labor, okay? For letter B, outline two possible opportunity costs that Gori may have from her decision to start her own business. So instead of uh, having something else, she decided to use her money to start her own business. Okay, maybe a laptop because you may 
everything may be written down at first no need for the laptop at first later maybe she may save save an amount, amount of money to buy her laptop explain one advantage and one disadvantage regards business of using this division of labor so we have the disadvantage